feeling weird in the throat, having fever, feel very tired, then watch this video. If you have these symptoms, then you might have the kissing disease. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Gabs over here. I am Doctor of Pharmaceutical Science and in this video we are going to talk about the kissing disease or mononucleosis. So stay tuned. Before we go to the topic, let's learn what is mononucleosis. Mononucleosis, which is an infectious illness, is usually caused by a virus named EBV or Epstein-Barr virus. The other two common names for this disease is the kissing disease and the mono disease. You can get this disease by kissing as well as sharing drinks or silverware. Yes, you can get this disease by getting a spoon from your classmate. Well, not this spoon, but the other spoon. Although mono is contagious, but you're less likely to catch mono than other common illnesses like cold. Many people are exposed to EBV virus, but this doesn't necessarily mean that you will get the mono disease. And you can carry this virus inside of your body without any symptoms for the rest of your life. EBV virus is a part of herpes family viruses. Studies shown that 85 to 90% of people would get this virus inside of their body by the time they're 40. Mononucleosis isn't usually a serious illness, but you can have complications that may make this virus dangerous. The symptoms of this virus range from mild to severe and we are going to talk about every single one of them. And now let's talk about the ways that this virus could be spread. The Epstein-Barr virus can spread through body fluids, mainly saliva, and that's the reason it's called the kissing disease. Not only by kissing, you could also get this virus by sharing foods and drinks and as I said, a spoon from your classmate. And in some rare cases, even coughing from an infected person could make you infected. Mononucleosis rarely can be spread through the blood and semen. And as unusual as it is, but in some cases it has been found that mononucleosis have been transmitted through the blood transfusion. And if you're wondered what might be the symptoms of this disease, here's some. Mononucleosis can cause a wide variety of different symptoms, but the most common ones are having fever, sore throat, sore muscles, fatigue, loss of appetite and swollen leaf nodes. And now let's talk about the treatments for this disease, shall we? To be honest, there is no specific treatment method for this disease. But fortunately, our immune system is able to overcome this disease in a matter of time. So my recommendation for better treatment is to use supplements to increase your immune system. Up to date, there is no medication that potentially could cure the kissing disease. Even antibiotics and antiviral medication could not help you. Things that may help you feel better include corticosteroid medication for your swollen throat, over-the-counter pain relievers like paracetamol or other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications. Then comes lots of fluid and lots of rest to increase your immune system. At the end, in most of the cases, our immune system will overcome this disease, which might take two to four weeks. And after that, everything will go back to its normal. In general, this disease is not something that you should be worried about. So take lots of fluid, get some rest, and hopefully in a matter of two to four weeks, everything will go back to its normal. I hope this information was useful to you and thanks for watching this video.